Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. Well, sit back and relax. This video is going to get a little intense and a little detailed. If you notice, as I'm rolling up my sleeves, I want to talk to you about this video. It's about how to take your horse's temperature. We've talked about dehydration. We, in some videos, I've talked about how to tell if your horse is shocky, but more than likely, your horse is going to get a fever. It's actually pretty common that horses do get fevers. So I'm going to try to show you the proper way, the safe way, to take your horse's temperature. Now this horse is perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with it, which means that it may not like what we're going to do. The first thing that you're going to want is it makes it a lot easier if you do have a pair of surgical gloves. We do have a bottle of alcohol for disinfectant. And what I want you to do now is, is I'm going to show you a close-up of what I've got going on here. Okay, what I have here is I have what's called an animal, a livestock thermometer. And I'm going to explain the different parts of this. Livestock thermometers always come in a hard plastic case, like an old-fashioned fountain pen. And here's your thermometer. You can always tell it's for animals because you're going to see that there is a tiny little loop here. And through this loop, I am going to, hopefully very quickly, I'm going to thread some string. You can use fishing string, you can use twine, kite string, something that goes through this. And the reason that they make these on here is because when you insert this, this is not an oral thermometer, ladies and gentlemen. This goes right to the source. This is an anal thermometer, the back door entrance. And you have a string on here, and the reason is, is that when you apply this inside of the horse, you're going to want to have something in case it gets sucked all the way in. If you put it in too far, you can pull it back out. What I like to do is I like to take these, I don't really know what they're called, I just call them paper clips. They're these black kind of paper clips that do this. I hope we're getting a good shot of this. And they just kind of clamp, and I'm going to clamp that to the horse's base of the tail. Alright, now, I've got my paper clip secured to the string, have my thermometer to the string. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my gloves and we are first thing we're going to do is dis disinfect that thermometer. That's extremely important. You do not want to just go from one horse to another without doing some type of uh, hygiene, uh, germ control, bacteria patrol of the thermometer. You don't have to do all these steps. You can just use your bare hands, which by the way, I've done in the middle of a pasture, but I'm trying to show you a very good way of doing this, a safe way, the right way. But sometimes that doesn't apply. Now the, another thing that you want to do is you want to check your thermometer to make sure that it is shook, it, that it is shook down. It was until I placed it on this warm trailer fender. And right now we've got, it's pretty uh, high, so you want to shake it down. Now, body temperature of a horse should be right at between 99 to about 101. 100 to 101, 102 is pretty common in your adult horses. In smaller horses, you might have 99, but usually you'll have 100 to about 102 as well. I'm shaking this thermometer down, and we've got it shaken down just right. We are now way below 80 degrees, we're down in the uh, 60 degree level. Sometimes these thermometers are a little difficult to read. Okay, the next step is we want to take our disinfectant, our alcohol, and you want to do a little bit of rubbing. You want to get any residual horse manure or bacteria off of there from another horse. Now what I like to do is I've just disinfected this. Now I'll just go ahead and do this. I'll just shake it. Then I will take a nice clean paper towel. I'll go ahead and wipe that off because this is going to sting. You don't, we don't want to make the horse uncomfortable. We want to make sure that when this goes in, it's nice and gentle. Okay. Now we're ready, set to put this inside of the horse. Now, you can use Vaseline petroleum jelly, or you can do what most veterinarians and <laughs> I do, and that is just going to spit on it. It's got to have some type of lubrication. It doesn't need a lot because it is going into the mo moist anal canal, but you do have to have some type of moisture on here. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a close-up now. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't have any foreign material around the back door, which we don't. You want to stand off to the side because if the horse doesn't like this, what are they going to do? They're going to fire off a bunch of kicks. Got a lot of nice spit on there. Okay, now we present this. We get this open and we gently slide it in there, very gently. We let the horse, this is okay. Now notice the thermometer is in there, but yet you can see the string that I tied. You put the tail back down, that helps hold it in, and you clip the clip right here to the base of the tail. Now what you do is you stand back. Stay away from the area. You notice that this entire horse is nice and calm right now. Everything's fine. You want to make sure that you would leave this thermometer in there for exactly two minutes. Three minutes is better than two minutes. You don't, it's okay to be a little long. You just don't want to be too short with your thermometer. We're going to speed this up. We know this horse doesn't have a, a temperature and this horse is gracious enough to allow me to stick something in the back door so that you can learn how to take a temperature. So I'm going to take it out. Once the time has elapsed, you've got your two to three minutes. The first thing that you do is you remove your clip from the base of the tail, you lift the tail to the side, then you gently, very gently, remember this horse could kick, very gently remove the thermometer. Once the thermometer is removed, then what you want to do is you want to look at it. You want to see what the temperature is, and then you will know if the horse has a fever or not. The next thing you want to do is you immediately come over here, you take your rub, you take your alcohol, and you're going to do the exact same thing. It's a lot easier to clean these thermometers to get the fresh horse manure off of them and the natural lubricant that's inside of a horse's body. You want to just go ahead and get this whole area. I mean, alcohol is cheap. You want to clean it up just like this. Then, once again, you want to shake it off. Then, go ahead and take your clean paper towel once again and you've got a nice clean thermometer. The next thing that you want to do is you want to do this as fast as possible. You don't want to break your thermometer. They are glass. They do have mercury inside of them. Then you put this nice and clean back in its case. Screw it tight. And if you want, if you're like me, just wrap the string around this case like this so that the next time you need to take a horse's temperature, you have, and I always go ahead and clip it, and then see you've got a nice little way of taking your horse's temperature. I want to talk to you for a second about digital thermometers. They make digital thermometers. There is nothing wrong, ladies and gentlemen, with digital thermometers taking your horse's temperature. This thermometer really is extremely accurate. They're very inexpensive. You can find them at all farm and market stores. Feed stores have them, even your veterinarians sometimes will sell them right off their truck as they're making a farm call to your barn. You can use a digital thermometer, you just have to make sure that you get it far enough inside of the horse and that you also get a good enough reading with it. Test them out. Do not wait to take your horse's temperature for the first time in an emergency situation. You need to be able to do this on the fly when you're panicky, when you're upset, and when it really counts. So practice taking your horse's temperature. Fortunately, this horse is, is used to me handling it. You've seen this horse in other Stall 13 videos. I've just got it tied to a trailer. This works a lot better if you have somebody up here. You may even want to provide the horse with a little sweet feed, with a little hay, a little grass to distract them while you're working on the back door. Well, there you have it. This is a way that you take your horse's temperature the safe way, the proper way. I hope you don't have to do that because that generally means that maybe you've got a sick horse on your hands. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and take care of your horses.